Welcome all participants, friends. First of all, we hope you're all good in this terrible situation. We heard the bad news about Marcel. We feel very sad, our thoughts are with his family. These are hard times indeed. We hope together we could continue his work and keep his legacy well. Now we shall put our hope and trust into a free and shared place where we can be close allies, equals as European citizens. In this year uh, we launched our new association, which is called the Association for Eastern European Romans. Related to this, uh, we would like to share the news that our father Imre Shoimoshi uh, became the president of the National Roma Self-Government's Office from this year. So we can work more effectively in the Eastern European Roma communities. And now let me introduce our new colleague Alexandra Minzari, who will speak about the needs and priorities of the Hungarian Roma population. Hello everyone, in the next couple of minutes I'm going to give you an insight of our organization. I would like to name the aims and the goals we try to achieve and I find it also extremely important to give you all the names of the sectors we try to, to intervene ASAB in order to make a big change, so stay tuned. Our organization's mission is to promote the social inclusion of the Roma. We find it extremely important to, to sort of protect their cultural heritage and to decrease and in the long run to totally eliminate the gap that unfortunately do exist until today between the living conditions of the Roma and the non-Roma. So basically we had a pep talk in the organization itself and we named all the sectors we think should be a huge change done but extremely quickly. So on the top of the list, we put up education. Um, education is quite complex, you know, because for example, if I take Hungary where we live in, it's very devastating that within the H Hungarian educational system in the primary school, they don't tend to have any pages about gypsies. Like, like we are here for centuries and nobody mentions us. They don't know who we are, they don't know our customs. So the rest of the society, the non-Roma people, just don't really know who they live with for years. And our objective is to facilitate after-school programs in cooperation with the National Roma Staff Government and to promote the introduction of Roma folk studies within the Hungarian educational systems. Uh, we also promote the cooperational and um, educational and cultural institution to improve, very important, to improve the role of community culture and to nurture the talent and develop the competencies of disadvantaged Roma children and young adults. A key objective is to develop a fair remembrance policy. So even though the National Roma Self-Government is uh, trying to organize events, which is about mostly the National Roma Day and uh, the Roma Holocaust, all these events are open to public, so anyone can attend. But few, few people tend to come. And we try to understand what can be the reason for that, and we've come across with two opportunities, like like two reasons that it can come with. Number one is we do not use enough ATL and BTL tools for that, so it's not widely known what we really do on that given day. Or second, they just don't care. So I have to go back again, education as a whole, to, to, to make a change in it. We need to um, be able to express ourselves. It's, it's totally not fine. To, to let the rest of the society to define us when they want and how they want. So we find it extremely important to intervene in. Number two is the employment. In cooperation with the National Roma Self Government again, we wish to contribute to the increase of the member of the Roma because where they work 
in Hungary at least, they tend to be like blue collar workers and you don't see many Roma people working in public administration and public service. And even though there are more and more educated Roma youngsters, they either don't have the network or because of segregation, they don't really tend to get very good jobs. And we also would like to change on it. It's a sad fact, but centralized and decentralized complex programs are needed to promote the employment, primarily to improve the employment situation of the long-term unemployed Roma in disadvantaged small regions. Also, we find it um, very important to mention that the complex labor market programs need to be developed specifically for the Roma people again, because with considerable funding and preferable with flexible tools enough, uh, in cooperation with the national Roma self-government, or organization can rely on previous uh, experiences because they used to make programs for Roma labor markets, and it worked quite well. Um, also, we find very important to intervene within the housing sector. In this area, our organization's objective is to participate. And this is very important because most of the time we are just following the events and we make about studies about them and uh, we try to eliminate how it happened. But we are never within the, the planning. And I think this is the most important thing. So... Our organization's objective, again, is to be within the complex development of the, of the planning part. So basically, there are Roma residents within the borders of the country who don't really have a lot of jobs over there because most of the jobs are within the capital or around the capital city. And those who are on the perified Sort of the country, they don't really have a lot of opportunities. And I think we can use them because they are great resources for labor. Um, we believe it's also very important to, in a way, like contribute with the methodological solutions and the management of the problems of settlements and settlement like living conditions. Uh, and environments which are mostly affected by social and uh, local segregation. Also, we find it very important to speak about the culture. So when it comes to gypsies and Roma people, they just tend to say like, oh, wow, yeah, culture, they can dance, they can sing, and that's that to them. Which is, of course, we gypsy people, Roma people know that it's, it's not just so easy. So about the culture or organizations aim is to educate the general public, as I previously mentioned, about the customs and traditions of the Roma, both in Hungary and in abroad. We here had a discussions about four main areas. Number one is to find and arrange scholarships, mostly for Roma artists. The second one is to promote and support the regular media appearance of the Roma artists and the heritage groups. And number three is to support the operation of the Roma theatres, the museums, the, the ruler heritage buildings, the galleries, the libraries and the radio. And of course also the television studios promoting the Roma culture. And lastly, to arrange educational and additional resources for the operation and development of the existing Roma cultural institutions. And uh, also, I think that this is like the plus sector, but this is the key to everything, is the international relations. Our organization's wish is to develop the relations with the Roma organizations in abroad in order to to try to have a louder voice. Like if you get to know with a lot of, not, not even get to know, if you try to make a good relation with not only civil organizations within um, Europe, but let's say just people who support our ethnic group. Uh, if we have a connection, if we build a strong network, we can be even louder. So whenever our voices can be heard is already a, a win. 
So it was Alexandra Minzeri from Hungary and thank you for watching. Be safe. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope we can continue our work soon. And thank you for the opportunity. We look forward to seeing you soon and take care of yourselves. Tavis Baktalo. So, we have a question Mate. here for Vincent Mate. So, Josué Navarro would like to know which is the main way the hungry Roma people earn a living and what's the main way of earning a living of the people who live in the settlement? Okay, so, uh, hello everyone. So basically, I can say that around Hungary, basically, we have such countries which used to belong to us in the past. So the people who remained at the borders of the country itself that to stay within the settlement, meaning they don't really have jobs right there. All the jobs are focused mainly on the capital of Budapest. And it's also a big problem that the teachers tend to be only blue-collar workers. Problema, Meaning porque la mayoría de nuestros really trabajadores son trabajadores no cualificados. Eh, conseguir educación, aunque tengan algo, incluso los que tienen educación no tienen una red que les permita eh, conseguir buenos trabajos. La mayoría no atiende, atiende las universidades. Y tienen una... So I can say basically all in all básica. that the people of 50 or up la mayoría de the gente que tiene más de 50 años no tiene trabajo. Hay mucho desempleo. Sí, eh, Jorge quería hacer una pregunta. Tiene la mano levantada. Adelante, Jorge. Bueno, muchas gracias, Carlos. Eh, gracias a los Thank you very much. primos allí. To Yo all our cousins there. I was in Hungary in 2007 in University of Segel, and I was in contact with Roma people there, and I wanted to know what's the situation when I was there on the Magia League, when I was there, a father and a little girl, two years old, had been killed. And on the news, they said that it was an issue uh, um, among the Roma people, but it had been the Magia League who had killed these people. And also there were many, many prostitutes, many young girls on the street because they didn't have employment. There was, uh, there was really marginalization of Roma people, racism. I understand that in Hungary there's a strong issue with racism. And then I also wanted to join you to show you that to tell you that I have a printing company here in Argentina. I'm a writer myself. And for many years I've been trying to publish Roma writers here in America. So of course, Roma literature is not very commercial. It's not not to earn money, but I want, I look for the funding and I want Roma writers to have their works published. And I have a collection which is called Interculturality, in which we publish books. Uh, because I'm just looking for Roma writers. And we don't publish so many uh, works because there's a lack of connections at international level to know what we are doing and to cooperate and to work with each other. Thank you. Okay, so basically, I would like to congratulate for Jorge because I know it's a great deal to do such a publishing work. And the problem here is that all the media are in the head of the government. So if they are not so, how to say, um, they're quite racist as well. So we don't really tend to have the field to publish uh, at all. And I'm speaking right now about 
gypsy art, gypsy literature, and so on. But firstly, I would like to answer for your question number one, which was about the racist killings. And I need to be a bit more precise because it was a five-year-old little boy who was killed and six other uh, grown-up people, basically. And this was the year when all this happened, the so-called institutional racism, because there was a party which is right now, until today, they are called Yobik, which means better party. They are in the parliament. They have the great platform to do whatever they want to and think to do. And basically those years they were killing people. There were two guys who was caught within the murders. They are in prison at the moment, but you know, I don't think it's enough. There are families who lost their children. Um, they lost their husbands and wife, which was basically crazy. And what we do is we tend to go to their cemetery and we do annual remembrance, but that's it, they are gone. Yes, you know, um, the main problem is uh, not only just the incidents, but the main um, main um, way of the political regime in Hungary. You know, um, to be a racist, racist is is acceptable in Hungary, and we must uh, keep the fire in Europe because it could be a tendency in all Europe. So we have to uh, be very careful with these um, wild groans, you know, and cut them immediately. If you see it in your own country, you have to um, raise your voice against it and you mustn't let to grow it. Because if you say, oh, it's just one incident and oh, it's just just these people say it, or just these groups say it, says, no, 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 it's not just these people, not about them, because they were poisoning the whole country. If you let, let me just to give a, a bit more uh, thoughts on that. So basically uh, the main problem is it's trying to, to get into a way, I'm speaking about Hungary right now. So it's even fashionable to be racist. Yes. Sorry for the expression, but this is what's happening. So basically the Hungarian nation itself is a blaming country. Yes. They've got the mindset of blaming, searching for people who could be you know, accused of things. So let me tell you a, a very simple uh, thing. Now that COVID started, people started to speak out loud on different social media platforms that it all comes from gypsies because they don't tend to go to hospitals. They don't check on themselves. And we don't know, they are traveling all around, who knows how it came. And you know, if just one person starts sharing this idea on, on wider platforms, they tend to speak about it. And this is getting very serious because even though they were like marching, like, like Hitler used to do, nobody stopped them. We needed two years to stop it by police. They were going to gypsy villages and they were, you know, like showing off their powers, their weapons. And it's crazy. Yes, and because uh, this is a tendency, uh, what we see in our country, it could be uh, anywhere else in Europe. So we think uh, we need to uh, work much closer together. Yes. Now, but we have uh, hope for now. Uh, now we are in uh, the Hungarian National Roma self-government office. Uh, this building is um, for uh, the reason that we need to uh, show power. Yes, we need to need to show our um, if they can get our um, Representing our, our um, values, values. Our, our values, yes, 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 and uh, and it's very important uh, to be organized uh, as an insti institution in European level too, but um, in each country we need to be organized, and we must have institutions because this is what um, makes us. 
belongs to the body of, of a country. Yeah. And they, they can't kill an institution. Governmental institutions. Yes, governmental institutions, I speak of, we think. So that's, that is our politics. So we need uh, governmental institutions, we need uh, educational institutions. So we need to learn our culture. The Roma people must know uh, where they come from yes. and where they belong to and how they can live in uh, that country where they are. So, so uh, we have uh, this new organization. Uh, the name is Association for Eastern European Romas. This is brand new now. Yes, um, so we work uh, on this uh, organization and uh, we love to share our thoughts and we uh, would like to um, ask you uh, and uh, and join and join uh, to Europe. you yes for the for the European uh, strategy that we would like to uh, make yes. Sí, ve vemos a José Alfredo que tiene la mano levantada que quería hacer una okay. pregunta. José Alfredo wants to tiempo. ask you Así something. So he's going to Gracias, have the floor. Thank you, eh, Carlos. Yo he tenido la oportunidad de I had the chance varias, varias veces, to eh, visit algunas por con, Hungary por, sometimes por los proyectos europeos. Uh, uh, with uh, European por, projects por, por and also because I've been invited uh, by several uh, organizations. La, dos veces, las dos veces que allí en, last time I was there, Hungría, last two times uh, that I was in Hungary, went to a place that it was called the Roma no, no Parliament. I can't remember the place where it was right now, but they gitano. said that it no was the Roma si Parliament. I remember that there were many pictures, eh, fotos y, y many pictures y, bueno, on the no walls, recibían, eh, y gitanas, and ¿no? there were Roma Entonces, people there, eh, no sé men si and women, eso, Roma ¿no? men and Roma de, women de who were gitano. there. I don't know y, what happened with that. Y la, uh, la, la, Roma la, la Parliament. Que estáis pasando, eh, uh, por, por regarding the situation ahora, you are living, creo que, I am no aware of pasar, it, and I think it's quite no difficult. Que, si no ese que but está but maybe, ese what, if you have that Roma Parliament, what are they doing? So, basically, the Roma Parliament had a so-called exhibition. You're speaking about the, the, the paintings and the photos and, and all these famous Roma, not only Hungarians, but Europeans. They are gone. They are gone. They took away the place. They took away the place from Roma Parliament where they had this exhibition. And they are closed since, I don't want to guess the numbers, but approximately around three or five years ago. And there was no any Hungarian civil organization who was able to give a place to these pictures and arts and paintings. So they were just staying within a place that they rented for years and they were just there getting dirty and they were not hang out on the walls. So basically here, this is the where we are, my colleague started to say, so basically this is the national Roma self-government that we are staying in or new president wanted to give a place for these uh, pictures and paintings and to give exhibitions for free, not only for gypsy people, of course, but to, to Hungarians and the rest of the society as well. And we tried to contact uh, Oladar Horvat, this is the name of the president, but um, we didn't get any response yet. Esta asociación, eh, this association, which, uh, this association, what are the, which is the work this association is carrying out? In which aspects are you working with this association? Uh, we would like to, uh, as we said, uh, we would like to promote uh, the social inclusion of the Roma and protect their cultural heritage and to decrease uh, 
uh, and in the long term eliminate the gap that exists between the living conditions of the Roma and the non-Roma. So first of all, we would like uh, to work with education. I think that the key work is the education, uh, the national education, the Roma national education, because, because our generation uh, doesn't know uh, where we came from. So if you want to go to a, to a goal, you have to know where do you come from first. Because that, sorry, because the identity, because the Roma identity is empty now. We have to fill it with values, with real um, and historically proper values, you know? Because if we don't feel our identity, uh, uh, the young, young uh, generation's identity with these um, old fashioned Roma values, uh, we will stay empty. And also if, if I may add, uh, what already started, Mr. Maya started to speak about uh, the things that he experienced that the, the Hungarian Roma parliament were having these exhibitions and so on. So basically Mati and Vince are, are both artists, they are musicians and they are doing it in a very, very high quality. So what we already observed in Hungary is nobody respects the things we do, the things we're good at. So I'm sure all of you heard about the 100 members Hungarian Gypsy Band, which consists of 100 musicians and they go and they do the tours and they're quite famous. So what's happening with them, you'll be shocked they were just kicked out from a building that they were using for 20 years because the government and the major of that given district said, okay, that was fine, thank you, that's it, that's that to that. So basically what we observed is that they think they can do everything. They control education, no mentions about gypsies. So if the rest of the society don't know who gypsies are, they only tend to believe to the stereotypes. And if you don't know, you know, all of you know about yourself. If you don't know something, you're not interested in it. So basically we try to, to protect this cultural heritage through music, through literature, through art and so on. And if we have that, this is our roots, then we can move forward. So basic thing is education itself. Thank you. Um, I just want to, 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 to ask you something more linked to what you said. I personally consider the uh, cultural and music heritage of Roma people of Hungary is incredibly rich and you have to preserve it above all. I, I've been there three times, four times in Hungary and I have seen it with my own eyes. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Do you have the chance right now to access funding or grants for your proposals, for your ideas? Do you have the possibility to access European funding or funding from your government for your work? Okay, so basically, which I was already mentioning within the video, and my colleague said also that we are at the National Roma Self-Government. This is a governmental base. We have fundings from the Hungarian government. And basically we have a budget, an annual budget that we can spend on. Of course, these uh, spendings are observed by the Hungarian ministeriums, ministries, but basically we have the chance to support young artists to, to have fundings for different occasions and or new organization or this new organization that we are speaking about and we try to present for you today, uh, we already discussed with the president and he's going to give us chances. So basically our voices are heard. The, the president has a quite strong network. We also would like to, to participate together. And, and yes, we are heard and we've been given already promises that he will do our best to give us some fundings and helps. Pero no sé qué hacen eh, o qué han hecho los europarlamentarios gitanos para luchar 
But I would like to know what that people who were at the European Parliament from Hungary and they were Roma, what have they done to prevent this situation you are suffering right now? And on the other hand, of course, uh, we, the Federation Madanata, we want to help you. We, we can denounce whatever you want us to say aloud here, because I don't think this is an issue for Hungary Roma people. This is a problem for all the Roma people in Spain, in Europe, in the world, because what you suffer there in Hungary, we suffer all in all the world. And we have to look for the right tools for the right funding, but in something like this, we have to be together because this racism is for us all. Racism in Hungary against Roma people is the same for us. So we have to be together. We have to join forces. And whatever you need from us, please, we want to help. We are at your disposal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Maya. Uh, we welcome very much this open that we, we basically say from all of you that you are quite accepting and, and you understand our problems. And this is crazy how the work just go on because we are all gypsies or tend to be around gypsy communities. And I see that all of us basically have the same ideas about everything. And it's very good to know. And the, the feeling is very comforting that whatever we say, you understand us. So thank you very much.